Hello, this is Edward from Twitty and Company, and um, we're just here doing a short video about bringing a trailer to the 4x4 beaches. We've been seeing a lot of them around the office, sitting here for the week, or people just asking about it because you might be thinking, hey, I got all my people in the car, but how do we get all our stuff here? And sometimes renting something like a U-Haul or um, just bringing a trailer you might have around the house would be a great idea, and we want to show you how to do it if you decide to bring one. Okay, so when you bring your trailer to the Outer Banks, um, and this is this is my trailer for demonstration, um, there's nothing on it obviously, um, but it does weigh about 2,500 pounds. So it's, it's a heavier trailer than most anything you would probably be bringing here. Um, it weighs this truck down a little bit. I can feel it when I'm pulling it, which is rare for this truck. So uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure the air pressure is low in the truck as well as the trailer tires. The trailer tires being aired down is the most overlooked thing we have happen. Um, these tires typically hold about 80 pounds. I've got them around 15 right now, 15 or 18. You just want them to, to be out, um, squished out like they are. Uh, that's the most important thing because if you don't air down those trailer tires, then it's just like pulling an anchor. And the truck also, I have the truck's tires at a lower pressure than I even normally run them with. They're just below 15 pounds in the back and about 18 to 20 pounds in the front. And for this truck, that's a little lower than I normally run. Now I will say, um, you definitely want to have the appropriate vehicle to pull the trailer with, as well as the appropriate trailer. You don't want a trailer that's going to be one to two inches off the ground, which we don't normally see. Most trailers are fine, but you uh, you definitely want to look at how it's hooked up. Um, some people will bring uh, a trailer or a vehicle, and when they hook it up to the trailer, uh, the tongue of the trailer might be way down here, and you don't want that because it's going to be digging into the ground. Or they might have their hitch way up too high to where the back of the trailer is going to drag the ground. So you want to bring an appropriate vehicle. I would rather see people bring a, a full-size truck, like uh, you know, an F-150, a, a Chevy Silverado, a, a Expedition Tahoe, vehicles like that. But you can bring a, a vehicle like an Explorer, but you don't want too much trailer for your vehicle. But that's, that's the same thing on the road as well as the beach. You don't want to be pulling too much trailer um, from wherever you're coming from either. So just that's that's my caution to you. Make sure you bring the appropriate vehicle to pull the appropriate trailer. So the reason, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video today is, I don't know if you can tell from us going up and down, but we're going about eight miles an hour and I can't go very much faster because the beach is so rough today. Just um, got deep tracks, just up and down. Uh, so it's about as bad as a beach as you would have pulling a trailer and you know, it's driving fine. I am in four-wheel drive. I don't think I would have to be right now. Um, in fact, I'll take it out just for fun. Um, but yeah, the, the truck's driving fine. It, I actually don't really feel the trailer much except when I'm hitting these bumps. And um, everything's cruising along good. And if you, if you are bringing a trailer and you feel like it's really struggling or if you're driving a truck, a full-size truck and you're getting some axle hop, where the whole thing is shaking, then definitely just stop and air the tires down more. Um, sometimes even two to three pounds, five pounds going lower in, the, in each tire will make a huge difference. But other than that, you shouldn't feel like you've got to drive real fast. You um, ought to be able to just cruise along. This trailer doesn't really track in line with my truck. Uh, it's nice if the trailer tires follow in the same track. This trailer is a little wider, so it eats away the side.
Now, like I said earlier, this trailer is probably bigger than anything um, anyone would bring. It's 20 feet long, and uh, it's got a 16,000 pound capacity, so I don't think uh, anyone's ready for anything like this big, but uh, you know, what we typically see is something like an Explorer or a Tahoe pulling a, a U-Haul, and it's the same, same principle. You air, the, you air the full vehicle down to 15 pounds, you air the trailer down to 15 pounds, 